Hey guys, and welcome back. Going back to the good old days here when I first started the channel, and I am making a video on another laptop. This is my primary laptop right here. It's a Dell Latitude E6420, and it is quite a capable machine, especially after I've upgraded it. Um, I have made a video of this machine previously. Uh, however, it was post uh, or pre plastic surgery, I guess you could call it. I, I gave it a bit of a facelift. Um, this used to be an ATG model, and if you know what that means, is basically a semi-ruggedized kind of business laptop. This is now no longer a ruggedized machine. However, it has a brand new lid on the top of it, which is looking quite nice. Um, However, it still retains some of the ATG features, like these uh, nice little port covers that I quite like for keeping dust and junk out of the ports. Um, but let's go ahead and go over some of the upgrades that I did to this machine. Um, nothing really changed in the front. I still haven't found any little rubber plugs for these parts for the handles. I wish I could find some of those. But on the side here, we've got our um, express card slot, and I have populated that with a USB 3 card, which adds three additional USB 3 ports. However, they're very close together, so you really can usually only plug in two USB 3 devices in there unless, um, unless they're very slim um, USB sticks, and then you could have potentially three. This just looks better. There were some uh, models that had two ports with like a weird little power jack in the middle for external power. I wasn't going to use that. Um, this is basically just to use with my one uh, SanDisk Extreme or SanDisk Ultra flash drive that's 128 gigs uh, USB 3 that I use for a lot of my video editing on the go. Um, so I wanted to have a high speed USB 3 device in here. Here in place of the optical drive is something rather special. I have a hard drive caddy in here, which gives me an additional um, hard drive mounting space. So I have a slimline 500 gig um, conventional hard drive in here. Um, that's pretty much it. I did, uh, I replaced the battery. So this is a brand new extended nine cell battery, which gives me like five to seven hours of work time with this, um, considering it has an additional hard drive that cut down the battery life slightly, um, and there's really nothing to note on that side. Um, so let's go ahead and open her up, we'll take a look at our software. So the latch is a little bit different on this lid here, but pretty much everything looks the same inside. Whoop. Raise our camera up here and angle it so you can get a little bit of a look at what we're doing. <clears throat> Let's go to File Explorer and we'll show we have a 120 gigabyte boot drive, which is a solid state drive. I think it's an OCZ Agility 3. It's basically, that was my first ever solid state drive that I had. It's about four years old now, so it's quite an old drive. Um, and I have a pretty much brand new 500 gigabyte storage drive in here, which stores all of my video projects and things that I'm working on. Um, I use Adobe Premiere and stuff on here. Sadly, this thing actually works better for rendering than my primary desktop. So, yeah, this is my... This is my main computer that I use while I'm out and about, and I am quite pleased with it overall. Um, our battery holds up pretty darn good on here. I don't get too great of uh, battery life if I'm doing video rendering, but that's to be expected. Um, I also replaced the display on here. It now has a matte uh, 1366 by 768 uh, display. I believe that's what the resolution is on here. Let's take a look. Advanced display settings. Yep, 1366 by 768. So it's pretty crap resolution, but that's just kind of been the standard. And um, you know, it's been like the 
de facto standard for like 10 years or something on laptops. Basically ever since they introduced widescreen displays, that's kind of been the standard low-end display that you see on pretty much all entry-level models. It was a cheap display. My other one had those bubbles around the edge in it, so I uh, got rid of that. Unfortunately, this one here has a lot worse colors. Um, it is an LG panel, so it's a decent quality display, but it's just not as vivid and vibrant as the other one. Um, same resolution, though, so I'm not going to complain too much. I think it was like 40 bucks for the new display, um, and yeah, it is totally brand new on here and it all fit in pretty well. Um, there were a few minor problems with switching over to this other lid. Um, there's kind of slight bulges on this bezel here because not everything <laughs> kind of transferred over. Apparently the inner parts of the uh, structural part of the display wasn't quite exactly the same between the two models, but I managed to squeeze it in there and it all seems to work pretty much okay. Um, you really can only tell if you run your finger down there. You feel a slight bulge on the one side, um, and that's just because one of the brackets is actually slightly bent outward because it's like the screw holes don't quite line up perfectly. Um, but yeah, it all went together relatively painlessly. But yeah, this is quite the powerhouse of a little machine. We'll do our uh, system specs here. Uh, this PC, do properties on that, and see what we're dealing with here. I've named this computer Warblade. Um, not sure why, just felt like it. Um, it has 8 gigs of RAM, which is the second most that I have in any computer. My main workstation upstairs is an HP Z600, and it's running dual Xeon dual quad-core hyper-threaded Xeons and 24 gigs of RAM. It's it's an old but very capable machine, um, but all my other machines, all my other main computers that I use run 8 gigabytes of RAM. Um, it's got Windows 10 on here. It's not completely up-to-date, I don't believe, because I haven't used this in a long, long time. Um, I've The last time I used it was when we went on vacation about four weeks ago, three weeks ago, something like that. So, yeah, I don't really use this too frequently, so it does. It frequently gets out of date. And, yeah, it's prompting me for Java updates and whatnot. But, yeah, I thought I'd just do a little quick overview here on this. I'm not sure what my uh, future plans are going to be for this machine, but I would like to eventually get one of the uh, slightly larger models of this um of these Latitude E-Series machines that have a um, full number pad and a larger uh, 1080p or higher screen. Um, I think I'll go one model newer when I get that, um, and that'll probably be my main laptop for quite a long time. Um, however, this one is serving me perfectly fine. Um, as you can probably tell, it's a very, very snappy little machine. Let's try opening up, like, LibreOffice and stuff. It runs pretty darn good. Open that up, open SketchUp. We're dealing with a pretty capable machine here. It is a dual-core Core i5. Whoop. Let's go to Performance. We're dealing with, let's see, what is the CPU? It's a Core i5-2540M clocked at 2.6 GHz, so second gen Core i5. Nothing spectacular, but it's all right, you know. It's going to get the job done. Um, two cores, four logical processors, so it's dual core hyper-threaded. Um, you can see it's kind of just idling... It's got some stuff going on in the background, 26-25%. I bet it's probably trying to do updates. Um, but yeah, it usually idles pretty low. Um, yeah, we're only using 24% of the RAM. So this thing is... It, it runs pretty, pretty nicely. Um, I should really go ahead and do all the Windows updates, get this thing up to date, and probably pack it away for another three or four weeks until I need it again. But... Thought I'd break it out, make a little bit of an update video on that since I haven't really talked about any laptops in a while. 
Um, I have another Dell machine that I bought at Hamvention a couple months ago that I would like to make a video on as well pretty soon here. Um, I may do that within the next few days and get that out. Um, I've been kind of lazy with video production lately, so I think I'm going to try to remedy that and get some new content out to you guys. All right, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you have any questions about this machine, feel free to ask, and I will try to help you out the best I can. And you guys have a good one.